Hello, I just want to make a quick video about uh, taking an aspect of improvisation. So I'm going to just take a major seventh chord today. Um, improvising and you're, you're stuck with a, maybe a major seventh vamp and you're looking to um, go beyond maybe some really basic idea. You know, so I'm going to take a C major seventh chord. So we've got C major seventh. Now we might think, well, C major seventh. Well, that's the first chord in the key of C major, so I can play my C major scale. And on guitar, we want to find that in, we want to find that all over the neck of the guitar. We want to find that all over the neck of the guitar so we can uh, move it around. Um, and it's so we can increase the range and also because the shape is different, it, it tends to um, it tends to make us um, find different ideas. We don't get stuck playing the same idea over and over again because we're playing it uh, in the same position. So C major seventh is just all your natural notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And we find those all over. So we find those all over the neck of the car. So now if we want to improvise with that, it sounds great. So that is that is simply C major. Now C major, a C major seventh chord also appears, um, or you have a major seventh chord at, at the fourth degree of of every scale, every major scale. So in the key of C, C major seventh is the is the first chord. But if you go to the fourth chord, C D E F, that's going to be a, a major seventh if we use seventh. So. Um, so every key has a as a major chord on the first degree and the fourth degree. Um, so one other uh, the other scale that's got a C major seventh in it is G major because if I start on G and I count up to four G A B C. So G major the G major scale has a C major seventh um, uh, built into it. So what does that mean? Um, well, it means if I was to play G major over uh, C major seventh chord, I would introduce a little, an interesting note. I would introduce the F sharp. So here's C major. And here's G major. Now, if I play that G major scale, starting on C, I get this sound. Again, here's C major, and then C, and uh, if you're not, if you don't know this, this is this is called the Lydian mode. The fourth mode of a major scale is called Lydian. So we go from C major to C Lydian, almost exactly the same scale. It's just that that fourth note. Major, Lydian. So let's hear what Lydian sounds like.
So C. Lydian has a, a little bit more of an exotic sound, which you can incorporate into your uh, improvisation if you're sitting in the you know, on a C major seventh chord. Um, the other thing that's interesting is we also use this to explore chromaticism uh, because here's our C major and here's our C Lydian major Lydian C major Lydian major. So you often hear that use of that chromatic passing between major and Lydian because it's, in, in the case of C, it's an F to an F sharp. So you'll often hear this being employed, this sort of hybrid scale. You can hear what that sounds like. So just some ideas. Again, C major, C Lydian. And hopefully that can just introduce a, a little bit of seasoning into your, um, into your improvisation. Lydian, Simpsons. <laughs>